Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the move instruction. And the move instruction, generally speaking, is going to be where you're just moving the source of whatever data you're trying to move into the destination. In this state, uh, well, in this case, I'm using this in uh, a theory called the state machine, where we're saying if whatever we're doing, we're trying to control it in a finite state machine where we're controlling the, uh, a machine in a certain demeanor, right? So in this case, I'm just loading in the value of the current state that I'm in into the destination or the, the value of the state that I want to go into into the current state that the machine is in in each one of the sections over here. So now a move can be do, used for many, many different things. You could be moving a timer, like a preset for a timer inside of that. Like I could come in here and move this preset. I could come in here and add another rung in here and or add a, a branch down here and move a preset in here. I could just come over here and grab a move and if I wanted to like destin like keep this preset done to a certain uh, preset and didn't want it changeable, I could come over here and get the preset and load that in here as 500 right here. I could just do that and use that as my load and that would load that value in there. Now again, that is a one illustration of using a move that you could do right now I'm showing you that as an example I don't necessarily have to do this in this specific machine but I am actually showing you how a move instruction works now let me show you this actually working inside of a function or inside of a machine running side by side you can see the code actually running we'll shorten this down so you can see it now when I hit the start button right here the products will come out and you'll see currently it's in the current state is in a 20 so the right here it's looking for this switch to be made and when it does it's going to come over here and make this and it's going to transition this 30 into the current state and as soon as it does that it transitions to the current state it fixes the part as soon as it's done and the robot stops it transitions to a 40 and it, all we're doing is moving the data from one to another so we can adequately control the machine in a certain pattern right so we're actually controlling the machine inside right now currently it's in this state is equal to this state and then as soon as this happens this switch happens and the timer is timed out it's going to move the value of state 3 which is 30 into state current state then it's going to come down here control the machine and that's how the move instruction is working now that's how I have it working in this environment right now but again you can use the move instruction in many many different applications now again if you always have questions you can come up here to the instruction help and then the instruction help will tell you again how and where the move instruction can be used really simply put it is the source data move the source data into the destination data now the two data types do have to line up properly so what I mean by that is if I were to look this data right here is a dent is a value of a dent and this value right here is a value of a dent so I'm loading the same to data types inside of one another you cannot load a bull inside of a dent right or a a dent inside of a bull right you need to make sure you're using the same data types the very like same data types so always go to instruction help if you have any questions and again these show you right here what you can and can't use again numeric if you're using a scent if you're if that is your scent is you're going to be your source data then you want to use a scent over here for your destination now you can load a scent into an int and a scent into a dent and a scent into a reel because they are smaller the scent is smaller right but you cannot load a dent you couldn't load a dent into a scent right because the data type right here is this is a double integer and it's too it's too big to go into a single integer so keep in mind those it's always best to stay like data types so the source data type can be again and it shows you illustrations right here right the source data type the value it's loading a value of 12 into a value of 12 right and you can load in syntax as well 
just to show you that as well but again always go to your instruction help if you have any questions but again always it's my best practice and is best practice of many others just to keep the same like data types when you're actually moving the the data when you're moving data from one to another in the move instruction always keep the same like data type and that's very very important when you're doing that because in when you're using instructions together or when you're using data together always make sure you keep the same data type or the data type will load into that other data type if it does not then you will create a problem again you cannot load a smaller val or a a smaller value into you can load a smaller value into a larger value but you can't you load a larger value uh, being a data type into a smaller data data type generally speaking we're going to use as a default it's going to be a dent or a real general you know you generally don't use a cent or you generally don't use anything of that nature you you can use an integer there are implementations like we are used in several different things like over here I use an integer for this one over here I'm using an integer right here and then all this bit data over here is converted into a real so this is a dent and I'm loading a dent and then kind of using the dent in an instruction coming over here and then loading that into a real be and the reason being is because by the time I express that out it's going to be a decimal form and anytime I break into a decimal form I want to be in a real I want to be in a uh, the ability to use that decimal form and that requires the data form of a real now again I wanted to show that and branch those things down because it's very important that you understand how to use a move and how to transition the data inside right because when you're again the move instruction is very simple it's just the source data to the destination data but it's very important to know that data types have to be like so just best practice and just stay with that best practice you will always be successful so again um, with that said we'll see you guys on the next one